In this video, we are going to learn about concept of enthalpy. At the end of this topic, students should be able to A. Explain endothermic and exothermic reactions using the energy profile diagrams. B. State standard conditions of reaction and define enthalpy and standard enthalpy of reactions and c define and write thermochemical equations for enthalpy of formation combustion atomization neutralization hydration and solution endothermic is a process of heat gain when delta h is positive while Exothermic is a process of heat loss when delta H is negative. Consider the following reaction where delta H is negative. It is an exothermic reaction where the enthalpy of reactants is greater than the enthalpy of products. Meanwhile, for the following reaction, the delta H is positive, which means this is an endothermic reaction. The energy profile diagram will show that the enthalpy of reactants is smaller than the enthalpy of products. 2.1b Enthalpy and Standard Enthalpy For the first term, enthalpy of reactions or the symbol of delta H, it means that the difference between enthalpy of products and enthalpy of reactants. To calculate this enthalpy, you sum up the delta H of products and minus with the sum of enthalpy of reactants. Standard enthalpy of reactions is the difference between enthalpy of products and enthalpy of reactants under standard condition. And what is standard conditions? Standard condition refers to 25 degrees Celsius or 298 Kelvin and 1 atm. 2.1 C Thermochemical Equation There are three conditions in writing thermochemical equations. The first one is shows a balanced chemical equation and second with the corresponding delta H. The coefficients refer to the number of moles of the substance and the third one is the phase of the component must be shown. For example, we have an equation that can be considered a thermochemical equation because it is balanced, it shows delta H, and the phase of the component is shown. If an equation with a non delta H is reversed, the magnitude of the delta H remains the same, but its sign changes. For example, we have an equation H2O solid produce H2O liquid with a delta H plus 6.01 kJ. If we reverse this equation into H2O liquid produce H2O solid, the value is still 6.01 kJ but the sign has changed from positive into negative. Meanwhile, if we multiple or divide both sides of a thermochemical equation by a factor n, then delta H must also change by the same factor. For example, H2O solid produce H2O liquid with delta H equal to positive 6.01 kJ. 
if we multiply this equation by 2, it becomes 2H2O solid produce 2H2O liquid and the delta H is also multiplied by 2 and it becomes positive 12.02 kilojoule. Last but not least, types of enthalpy. The first one is enthalpy of formation. Defined as heat change when one mole of compound is formed from its elements in their stable states at constant pressure 1 atm and fixed temperature 298 kelvin. Dalam bahasa Melayu, perubahan haba bila satu mol compound terhasil. Terhasil maksudnya kita fokus pada produk. Produk dia mesti satu mol. Reaktan tak kisah. Satu, setengah, dua boleh. Tapi produk mesti satu mol. Macam dalam example. H2 gas plus 1 over 2 oxygen gas produce 1 mol H2O liquid. So product must be 1 mol. The delta H for this equation is negative 286 kilojoule per mol. The standard enthalpy of formation of any element in its most stable state form is zero. Untuk elemen yang berada dalam keadaan stable, maksudnya dia boleh wujud secara naturally dekat alam semesta ni. Contoh kita ada oksigen. So oksigen enthalpy of formation dia adalah kosong. The second one is enthalpy of combustion. Define as the heat release when one mole of substance is burned completely in oxygen at standard reference state of 1 atm and 25 degree Celsius. Haba yang terhasil bila satu mol substance terbakar. Maksudnya dekat sini, benda yang terbakar itu adalah reactants. So, reactants yang terbakar tu mesti satu mol. Oksigen tak kisah berapa banyak mol. Dia punya products tak kisah berapa banyak mol. Yang penting, bahan yang terbakar tu mestilah satu mol. Contoh dalam equation, carbon plus oxygen produce CO2 gas delta H negative 393 kilojoule per mol. The carbon yang terbakar tu adalah 1 mol. The third one is enthalpy of atomization. Defined as the energy required to form 1 mol of gaseous atoms from the element under standard condition. To form bermaksud menghasilkan iaitu produk. So, produk mesti 1 mol dan satu lagi yang diberitahu adalah gaseous atoms. Maksudnya, produk mesti 1 mol dalam phase gas. For example, we have Na solid produce Na gas. Delta H equal 109 kilojoule per mol. So, kita nampak kat sini, produk Na 1 mol dan dia punya phase adalah gas. Sama juga untuk equation for Cl2, produk mesti 1 Cl gas. The next one is enthalpy of neutralization. The heat release when one mole of water is formed from the neutralization of acid and base under standard condition. So, haba yang terhasil bila satu mol water terhasil. Maksudnya, dekat bahagian produk, 
mesti satu mol of water yang ada dalam equation. Yang depan tak kisah, tak kira reactant berbanyak pun tak kisah. Tapi water mesti satu mol. For example, HCl equals plus NaOH produce NaCl and H2O. H2O dalam equation tu kita nampak satu mol. Delta H is negative 58 kilojoule per mol. Next, we have enthalpy of hydration. The heat change when one mole of gaseous ion is hydrated in water. So, kita ada perubahan haba bila satu mole of gaseous ion. Dekat bahagian reactant, mestilah satu mole ion dalam phase gas. Hydrated in water, maksudnya produk dia adalah ion juga. Tapi dia punya phase jadi aqueous. Contoh, Na plus gas produce Na plus aqueous. Delta H negative 406 kilojoule per mol. The same as Cl minus gas produce Cl minus aqueous with delta H negative 363 kilojoule per mol. Next, we have enthalpy of solution. The heat change when one mole of a substance dissolves in water to form a very dilute solution under standard condition. Perubahan haba bila satu mole substance dissolve. Satu mole reactant larut dalam air. Maksudnya kita punya reaktan mestilah satu mol. Larut dalam air maksudnya kita punya produk adalah aqueous. Aqueous ions. Sebagai contoh kita ada satu mol KCl. Reaktan satu mol dissolve dalam air. So produce K plus aqueous plus Cl minus aqueous. Produk dia adalah Equus ions. Delta H equal positive 690 kilojoule per mol. Next, enthalpy of sublimation. The heat change when one mole of substance sublimes into gas. Satu mole reactant sublimes kepada gas. For example, I2 solid satu mole sublimes kepada I2 gas. Benda yang sama cuma berubah phase sahaja dan dia mestilah satu mol. Delta H equal positif 106 kilojoule per mol. Next is enthalpy of vaporization. The heat change when one mol of a substance vaporized from liquid into gas. Maksudnya kita punya reactant mesti satu mol dan dalam phase liquid bertukar kepada produk substance yang sama cuma phase dia berubah kepada gas for example Br2 liquid changes into Br2 gas delta H equal positif 112 kilojoule per mol and the last one is ionization energy energy required to remove one mole of electron from one mole of atom in gaseous state under standard condition so kita akan remove satu elektron daripada reactant iaitu satu mole atom so reactant mestilah satu mole dalam keadaan gas in gaseous state Kemudian produce satu mol elektron. For example, kita ada magnesium gas satu mol dalam phase gas produce Mg plus gas plus elektron one mol of elektron. So one mol atom untuk reactants, one mol elektron untuk produk. The IE is equal to positif 740 kilojoule per mol. 
that's all for this video thank you